Okay, so now let's look at number four. So it says plot the test scores and connect them. So we need to plot the score the student received for each test. We have test one, we got an 85. So start with your horizontal axis, your horizontal line here. Test one, and we're gonna put a point there on 85. And then let's go along our horizontal line to test two and put a point at 95. Go to test three, and we're going to put a point at 80. Test four, and a point at 90. And then all the way to test five, and put a point at 100. And now we're going to draw a line to connect our points. Okay, and then they want you to find the average. So you need to add all the test scores together. And then divide by the number of tests, which is five. So put the total here. And then your average will be here. And you're going to put that there. Okay, so this says, write the numbers your teacher says. I'm going to cross that up. <clears throat> Let us then be up and doing with a heart for any fate. Still achieving, still pursuing, learning to labor and to wait. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. So I think that's appropriate for at the times now. All right, let's do 6a together. So we need to first find a common denominator for the denominators 6, 3, and 4. <clears throat> I think 12 is an appropriate one for that. But my pen is writing too large. So 6 times 2 is 12. 1 times 2 is 2. 3 times 4 is 12. 1 times 4 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 1 is, I'm sorry, 1 times 3 is 3, 4 plus 3 plus 2 is 9 twelfths, and 6 plus 8 plus 7 is 21, but I can reduce this, 9 twelfths, 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. So I have 21 and 3 fourths. So you can do the rest. Let's switch to mouse. And I'll move my paper down. So now you have some conversions. Cups to ounces. Well. Oops. So horse to fly, multiply. I know you could probably do this in your head. And our special number is eight, eight ounces in a cup. And then eight times three equals 24. So 24 ounces. Then you have pounds to ounces, bushels to pecks. Remember in the back of your book, in the appendix, you should have those conversion special numbers there. And then you have mark under the numbers that are divisible by 5. So if it ends in a 0 or 5, that's the divisib divisibility rule for 5. Circle one-tenth of a dollar. Think about that. Measure to the nearest quarter inch. Hopefully you have a ruler at home. And then write greater than or lesser than. Is three sevenths greater than five sevenths or lesser than or equal? Okay, and finish those.